What's going on YouTube? It's uh, Aja and I'm back again. Uh, remember the last video where I said that I was going to get into some of the changes that the Air Force has been making over like the last couple of months, like two months or something like that? Oh, uh, that's what this video will be the first video of maybe like four or five. I don't want to explain everything at one time because it's so much stuff. So I'm just going to uh, try to do one thing at a time. I keep it short and um, uh, maybe you guys can pick up a little better what I'm trying to explain. So uh, first, this is about the officer boards that have been suspended until uh, FY15, with the exception of STEM, um, STEM majors. STEM is science, technology, engineering, and medical. So with the exception of those people who have those types of degrees, um, like myself, I have a hosti hospitality management degree, which is uh, basically services in the Air Force. People like myself would not be able to apply until FY15 or people like personnel would not be able to apply. You know, officers that basically aren't STEM aren't, aren't able to apply until 15. But uh, I'm going to back up. A lot of people have asked me why I did not go in as an officer and I came in. Well, 2011, I graduated from the University of South Carolina in December 2009. And, um, whoop, pause. Shout out to the game class because we just won the Capital One Bowl. It was awesome. But anyway, I graduated for uh, from USC in 2009 and I joined the Air Force in 2011. I have a Bachelor's of Science degree in Hospitality Management. And I, met, I graduated magna cum laude, which is like a 3.7. And uh, currently I'm working on my Master's degree from the University of Oklahoma. And I'm going to switch that over to marketing once I get to Korea. So normally when people come in um, with bachelor's degrees, like enlisted people come in with bachelor's degrees, people ask, why didn't you go officer? I did not go officer because the officer boards were not open at the time when I wanted to join the Air Force. And at the time in my life, I was in a place where I really needed to get um, get away from South Carolina. I just And I had some other stuff going on, like I wasn't completely fulfilled in my job and it wasn't as challenging as I wanted it to be. Ironically, though, they were trying to promote me the same day that I gave them my two-week notice. But whatever. Um, so the boards were not open um, when I went to... Um, enlisted the Air Force and they weren't going to be open for like another year. Um, I was in debt for five months so and um, the OTS board all of that takes about a year or so to apply for anyway so logically in my brain I was like okay well I'll just try uh, to enlist in the Air Force and then once I get settled in I figure out if I like it or not and I'm kind of still in that process um, I figure if I like it or not and if I am really into it then I'll try to apply for officer which is fine um, so that's currently where I am in in the uh, scope of my career for if I want to be an officer or not. And um, I occasionally re read these boards. It's uh, afforums.com. I was reading a forum and one of the the members wrote something about the officer boards being suspended, and I didn't heard I hadn't heard anything about this. So I googled it and couldn't really find it except for Air Force Twitter. And I don't have a Twitter, so um, I thought it was kind of messed up. That That's like the one way that they put it out. They also put it on AF.mil, and I would, um, if I can get the link for you to put in the description box, I found the Air Force Twitter, and they posted um, on the 16th that uh, OTS class dates are deferred until FY15. Current board results are delayed, so those people who have already gone to the board, um, which is basically a panel of people, if you if you watch my Airman of the Year, Airman of the Quarter video, you know what a board is, a panel of people. Um, those results are delayed, and future boards are suspended until further notice. Um, I tried to go to the link. It's not working. I don't know why. Um... But that's just one of the things that have been going on as far as the Air Force uh, force shaping um, that the board um, suspension is like one of the ways to do it. They also had a couple other ways that they um trying to do it involving people who are higher ranking than myself. I'm not going to get into that in this video. That's another video because that's super long and I don't really understand everything about that. And as far as every other video in this series that I'm going to make, I don't really understand everything about it. But I'm going to try my best to tell you the information. I don't know the chances of getting in versus having a STEM degree. So uh, I just kind of want to let you guys know that that's one of the things that have been happening with the drawdown, that the officer boards have been um, suspended. And as far as if I actually wanted to apply to be an officer, um, there are some rules 
uh, first how to be an officer and if you want to apply you have to have certain things so I'm going to go through some of those for people who want to be officers as soon as I find the page um, this is on the Air Force recruiting website on Facebook I don't know who this person is but they answer all the questions so if you want to be an officer you have to have a bachelor's degree with at least a 3.0 to apply then you must be selected by a board of officials who will pick the top candidates for the positions that are open you must meet the physical qualifications as well as the AFOQT scores. And I know this is real throwback, but if you watch my ASVAB uh, score, my ASVAB video, I may have mentioned something about taking the AFOQT. I took that a long time ago. I took that like um, a month after I took my ASVAB. And I did pretty well on it. So you could take it twice, the AFOQT, which is the Air Force Officer Qualification Test. And the most recent score is what is applied. So even if you score higher on your first test, if you retake it and you score lower, then they just use the second score. So um, study. It's it's difficult. It's definitely more difficult than the ASVAB. Um, it's like studying for the GRE. And I only use that comparison and, uh, from what I've heard. I've never actually studied for the GRE because I've never had to take it or the GMAT. But people have told me that it's like studying for the GRE. Um, I studied like, I, yeah, I basically used like a GRE um, study book, study manual, and that's pretty much the same thing. And if you want to apply after you've enlisted, you have to have one year retainability at your base. So, for instance, if I want to apply next year, I have to extend for Korea, which I have to extend my time because Korea is only a one year tour. So, I don't have, once I hit that base, I will start counting down from 365 to 355. And 355, of course, is not a year. So I would have to extend a year in order to apply to be an officer. And nobody wants to be in Korea for two years. Like, I'm not about that nuclear weapon, you know, smallpox and, you know, people blowing people up. I'm not about that. So I'm not trying to be there for an extra year. So I would technically not be able to apply to be an officer until FY16. No, 15. Yeah, 15 is right. 15. So, I mean, when the board's open, I can apply and I might, I don't know if I'm, if I'm still going with this, I'll let you guys know. Um, I have everything in order. Like I've, I made good connections with, um, officers who told me that if I want to apply, they'll write me recommendation letters and I already have a pretty good, uh, AFOQT score. I don't want to be a pilot. So that's not really a concern for me. I'm working on my master's. I mean, I have all my ducks in a row. It's just I don't know if I have the ambition right now. And I don't want to take on something, a challenge like that, without having the drive to be able to see it through. So it's, I have all the requirements on paper. But like in my brain, I don't know if I'm really like up for the challenge. Um, but in any case, I want to let you guys know about the OTS boards. I'm going to make some other videos about the uh, force shaping, like uh, early retirement that they're doing for people. Um, I'm going to, I'm studying for staff sergeant and I have to take that test this spring. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, what else do I have coming up? Um, PCSing, which is permit change of station. So my house is kind of going to start looking like a mess and maybe I'll take you around with how I have to like get ready to leave and pack and I'll be in Florida for a month. So if you're in Florida, holler at me. I'll be at Herbert Field, which is like near Eglin, Pensacola, Destin area. Uh, I'll be there for a month. So in any case, uh, I'll talk to you guys later, and I hope you have a good New Year's, and I'll see you.